Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am at the Salvation Army for their grand opening. It's actually my favorite thrift store that moved to this one. So hopefully this is my new favorite thrift store. But today I decided that I want to do a challenge. So yesterday I went onto my Instagram and I asked everyone, what should I thrift for today's thrift with me? I want to do a challenge and I actually got a lot of really cool responses. So I'm actually going to do some of the responses in upcoming videos just because there's too many good ones just to choose one. So I chose that I'm going to be shopping a celebrity's style and I have chosen Hailey Bieber for today. So last night I was on Pinterest looking at her style and just picking some outfits for today's thrift with me. So I'm just going to quickly go through them before we go into the thrift store. First outfit I found was this one. I thought it was pretty simple and I thought that I could probably thrift this one. Next one, this one's going to be a little bit more tricky. I don't think I'm going to be able to find plaid pants or a crew neck similar, so this is iffy. And then I also really like her style where she actually uses a lot of blazers and kind of dresses them down and makes them casual with either sweatpants or just like oversized jeans. And then I also do like her style where she actually uses like a full two-piece, like, you know, matching blazer and matching pants. So I'm hoping I'm able to recreate one of these outfits today. I'm going to be going to the Salvation Army where I'm at now. And then after, I'm going to Value Village. So I'm excited just to get thrifting. So let's go thrifting. Here we are. Everyone's just going in. I'm so excited. Hopefully they don't have like a limit. Hopefully I'm not stuck out here. Oh my gosh, it is beautiful in here. Look at this. Ooh, ooh, wait, what's this? Are you kidding me? Uh, are you kidding me? I literally just walk in and this is the first thing I find. I'm actually blown away with how many good coats they have here. Like, look at all these beautiful coats. I really like this one. I think this one's really, really cool. And I feel like that's definitely like Hailey Bieber's style. It is, how much is it? $20. Should I try this? Let's try this one on too. I love this one too. And I know I saw a photo of her wearing an outfit like this. So, and then I'm gonna have to pick this one up even though it's 50. Like I probably won't get it, but I, I at least gotta try it on. This is also a really nice oversized coat. I feel like this one would be really really nice oh why is everything so expensive everything's so beautiful but it's really expensive <laughs> look at these vintage tags are absolutely beautiful so i was just on my way to look for a mirror and look what i just found doc martens for ten dollars okay finally i found a mirror so i'm gonna try on all these coats here so i can make some room so i can actually shop for I really like this. The only thing is, I don't know, is the arms too short? And I also wish this was a little bit more oversized. Okay, so here's the next one. I really liked it on the rack, but now that I put it on, it's not 100%, okay? I actually really, really, really like this one, but the only thing is, it's $40. But then again, it is Oak and Fort, so it's a brand. I really love this coat too. Oh my gosh. This one is actually meant for me though. Look at this coat. Okay, I officially found the perfect jacket for like Hailey Bieber's style. It's perfect, but the only thing that's wrong with it is that it's $70. It's because it's brand new with tags. Like I get that, but I'm not spending $70 on this coat even though it is really really beautiful this coat okay i'm so dumb i was looking to try to find like the perfect blazer oversized blazer and i was looking in the women's but i clearly should have been in the men's because there are so many here that are just beautiful and look at the price that's a lot better than 70 or 80 dollars or whatever how much that zara one was let's look at the browns that one's cool, but I think this one might be way too oversized. Round two of trying on coats. Okay, so here's the first one and eh, not a big fan. So this one's actually pretty good. It actually fits quite well. It's like it's a little bit oversized, but it's not like too crazy oversized. So this one actually could be a winner. Like I actually do actually really like this blazer. Okay, so this one is like super, super oversized i don't know i do really like the color of this one i, I think it reminds me of one of the photos i saw i think it's just a little too big i keep finding just amazing things just like on the end of the rack like i just found it right here i found this guess backpack this little red one beautiful okay i just put one of the shoes on and i was gonna think they're gonna be too small because they said size six but they fit perfect i'm having such 
a good day here today. Oh my gosh, look what I just found. I just found an Aritzia jacket that's probably worth 300. I know it's 50, but it's worth like $300 this jacket. The only thing is it's an extra, extra small. So I don't think it's gonna fit, but I have to just at least try it on. Oh, I'm so sad. It's one size too small. It's just like, really really tight in arms but here it's fine it's just a size too small unfortunately even though it doesn't really look that small it's tight look at this are you kidding me are you kidding me like the stuff i'm finding today is just insane it's so insane okay so i kind of got a little distracted because i legit found something that i have never found before in my lifetime and that is I don't want to say it too loud because someone might steal it or let's be honest no one's really gonna steal it but I found a brand new off-white authentic authentic off-white shirt yeah and I I'm like 99.9% .9 sure it's authentic because I just spent like the last 20 minutes online looking to figure out how like to know if it's authentic or not and I'm pretty confident it is and I'm pretty I'm pretty stoked. I've never found anything designer before in a thrift store. So you can see how excited I am and I'm also pretty pumped about everything that I've just found. Like I honestly think I might spend two, three hundred dollars in this store and the most I've ever spent at a thrift store is a hundred, so that's a lot for me. And I'm just really excited to show you everything I got. I found probably about two outfits that I think will fit Hailey Bieber's style. So I'm really excited that I was able to like accomplish that of actually like thrifting someone else's style and trying it out because to be honest, I really, really like her style. I really do. So I'm excited to try that out and kind of just get some new clothes that are kind of out of my comfort zone of like blazers and long jackets. So I'm excited for that, but I'm even more excited for just finding that shirt. And I've also found a few other things that are pretty, pretty sweet, so. I'm gonna keep thrifting, I'm gonna keep thrifting, I'm gonna keep finding more gems here because it's it's incredible, this store. The only thing is, it is pricey. It is pricey, but it's pretty incredible. Just like, look at my cart. It's not a very big cart, okay? Just in my defense, not very big, and I have a lot of jackets in here, but look at everything I found. Like, oh, I love that purse. But I'm gonna show you just a little sneak peek of the shirt that I found. Here it is, it's $15, which, is pricey for a shirt but obviously not pricey for this shirt that is really cheap for this shirt so i am so stoked i have no idea what i'm gonna do with it i probably will just end up keeping it because this is just my best thrifted item ever so how do i get rid of it i'm just like hiding it in my cart here so look at some people found i haven't been to the home decor yet but look how cute that little rattan i'm like it's like focusing on my hand look how cute that rattan i think it's like a magazine thing which i already have one of those beside my couch but dang people are finding some good stuff here i am just here in the tank tops in the sweater section i don't really know i honestly have just been going around the store and just walking aimlessly just looking through everything because this is exciting i've never been here and it's like all brand new things Look what I just found. I just found a Harley shirt. I haven't found a Harley shirt in a long time. Even though this shirt is not necessarily like my style, I prefer t-shirts, but I'm thinking I could probably do a thrift flip with it just because I think this graphic on the back is really rad. So let's add this to the pile. You can't really see, but they actually have Doc Martens here for $50. Okay, so I'm ready to finally go through all this and figure out what I'm gonna keep, what I'm not gonna keep, and see what outfits I can make with this. So I'm excited to go through all this. That is a nice mirror. I do like this mirror, but um, I've already finished my place, so I actually don't need a mirror anymore. I just got back to my car and I can't believe how well I did in there. I didn't spend as much as I thought I was going to. I only spent 127 or 137, I don't know, but that's still a record for me. I have never spent that much at the thrift store before, so that is a record. 127 or 137, I don't know. I'll look at my receipt later, but I ended up leaving behind the Levi's Sherpa jacket, which I'm really sad about because that is like my dream jacket to thrift one of those, but I legit have the exact same one. I have the exact same one at home already and I don't need two and it was $30 so it wasn't like a steal of a deal you know it wasn't like $5 um so 
uh, I left it. I hope someone else enjoys it and buys it and just really wears it because it was a beautiful jacket. It was like brand new. So I think I still am going to go to Value Village. And the reason why I'm going to go to Value Village is one, I have a coupon. So got to go to Value Village if you have a coupon. And two, I really wanted to get nice sweatpants because I just noticed in her style for Hailey Bieber, she just has a lot of sweatpants in her looks and I really like that. I really want to start wearing sweatpants more because they're a lot more comfier than jeans. So I'm going to go and see if I can find some comfy sweatpants because I feel like that will just finish off some of these looks and just also be super comfy because I also just want to be comfy and warm now that it's winter time. So I actually would like to get some crew neck sweaters. That'd be nice. But anyways, I'm just rambling on. So let's just go thrifting at Value Village. We are here and it is super, super busy. Like I got the last spot in here and I bet everyone's in here Halloween shopping. Yay. This is a really nice vintage roof sweater, which I would get, but it's $16. So I'm going to pass, but this is a really nice oversized sweater. Okay, so I finally found the sweatpants and I'm just starting to look through it and I ended up finding two so far. So I found this Nike pair and this Nike pair. They're both very similar. I think they just have different bottoms it looks like yeah just slightly different and this one looks a little bit looser and then this one it looks more slimmer they are 18 dollars so i guess it's not that bad for i guess nike so um i'm gonna put these both in the cart for now so i didn't find any other ones so i'll end up getting one of these sweatpants i just have to decide which one will fit better and then now i am in the sweater section and i'm looking for a matching sweater i found this one which is pretty dang close in color they aren't the same brand this is nike i don't know what brand this is but they're pretty close and i probably would just end up cropping this one which I think would be really nice. So this might be a nice outfit. I think this will check off another outfit, which is really exciting. So I'll have actually, I don't even know how many, maybe two, three, quite a few actually. So other than just the sweatshirt and the sweatpants I found, I haven't really found a whole lot. Other than actually, I found a bucket hat, but other than that, I'm not really finding too much. It's quite busy here because everyone's shopping for Halloween because Halloween's in a few days. So that's probably why there's not much here because everyone's taking it for Halloween costumes. But I think I'm just gonna look maybe a little bit more for myself, just because I've pretty much done the challenge already. I finished it, I've gotten a whole bunch of items, so I don't really need to buy any more items for the challenge. So I'm happy with where I'm at. So I'm just gonna do a little thrifty, maybe look at some fabric home decor, and then go home and then I'll be able to show you guys everything that I purchased today. So I ended up finding one fabric. This one's really nice because it's a nice like stretchy one and it's like super super soft in the inside so I'm happy with this fabric and I know what I want to do. I want to make a top somewhat like this and there's lots of fabric here so I can practice it because I've never made a top with the actual seam on the outside so I'm excited to try it out with this fabric. So I just got out of Value Village and I just realized it's 225 and I started thrifting today at 10. So how many hours is that? Um, 11, 12, one, two, four and a half hours. Oh my gosh. I was searching for four and a half hours today. Oh my goodness. Okay, I need to get home. I need to go eat. I need to wash all these clothes and then I will see you in a minute for the haul. next day now I am here with all my clothes everything is washed everything's ready to go so I'm gonna get into the haul do like a speed run through because there's a lot of items so I'm gonna show you quickly what I'm wearing first the first item that I thrifted was this hoodie I'm wearing it's just a basic hoodie I believe it's from Walmart I got it for five dollars 
plus 20% off. So I ended up getting it for $4 at the Value Village. And then the pants I'm wearing are the ones that I kind of matched up. Like they're very, very close in color. Like if you looked at them in person, you wouldn't really be able to tell unless you like really stared at them. So I was able to actually get a full tracksuit, which I've never done that before or sweatsuit. So I'm really excited about this because I'm actually gonna be wearing this a lot now. Next item is this men's undershirt, which I thought was just a women's tank because it was in the women's section. But I realized after um, it's a men's undershirt and I ended up just cropping it. And I think it was $1.99. Next two items, I ended up getting two bucket hats last night when I went back to the thrift store. These are actually leather and they're brand new with tags so I guess someone donated a whole bunch of bucket hats so I ended up getting these two. There was one more color but I ended up just liking these two ones. It's kind of like a chocolate brown and then like a nice you know vanilla mocha color. I don't know what color it is but they're really nice. They actually fit really really nice on my head. It looks kind of stupid right now because I have my hair in a bun, but it would look better if my hair was down. So I was happy I was able to pick these up last night. They both were $5 each. Next item is this Harley shirt I got. It's actually a women's Harley shirt. And I tried it on and I was kind of confused how to wear it. It doesn't really fit very nicely. I think it's just cause it's way too small for me. So I'm not gonna actually wear this as a shirt. I'm actually gonna use it for a thrift flip that I will put in my store at upcoming drop. But I really like the back graphic and the front graphic, whoops, is cute too. It's like a little glittery or sparkly one. Not really my style, but maybe someone else's. Next item I got was this pair of Aritzia pants. I actually have this exact pair of pants, except a different pattern, but the same style of pants from Aritzia. And I think I wanna say I spent at least like 60 or $70 and I got them on like a clearance day. So they were like a good price at that. And I ended up picking these up for $8.99, even though they're a little too big. So I might alter them just because it has a zipper on the size to make the waist fit me and then just leave the legs a little bit oversized or I might sell them. I'm not really sure. This shirt is just a plain white shirt that's cropped and it has like a little elastic band there, which I really like. So this is another item that I scooped up last night when I went back to the Salvation Army and it is this pair of jeans. I know I don't need any more jeans but I just saw them and they look really really nice and they look like they'd fit me because you know I can't try anything on so I scooped these up. I thought they were pretty. It was a good score. These were actually $10 I believe. So these pair of pants are a plaid pair of trousers I guess you would call it. High-waisted trousers and they honestly fit amazing. Like everything I purchased has just like fit like a glove. Like they were just meant for me all these clothes. So I was really excited to find these pants. These were $15. They were brand new with tags. So I was like, okay, I can spend $15 if they're brand new. It's not that big of a deal. So I really, really like these ones. It is this nice checkered or plaid. I don't know. This is similar to another pair of pants. So I guess I didn't really need it. I ended up getting another Walmart sweater. This one's from Walmart and this one's from Walmart, but obviously I didn't buy it from Walmart. This one's from Salvation Army. This one's from Value Village, but I've never actually bought Walmart branded clothes from a thrift store, or I don't think I have. Next item, this pair of pants that I found, they were in the men's section and they are actually from Urban Outfitters. So now that I try them on, they're definitely women's. They said they were a men's medium, but definitely not a men's medium. So I only ended up getting one pair of shoes there, which is pretty good for me just because I never buy shoes at the thrift store. They just never work out. So I was excited to get a pair of shoes and they are these Doc Martin vintage shoes. I was so excited for these. They fit really, really good. I'm just overall pumped for these. I do not have a pair of Doc Martens that are low. I only have a high top one. So I was kind of happy to get a different pair to kind of change it up in my wardrobe, have a few different pairs now, but these are them. They were $10, which was a steal of a deal, I gotta say, because they had another pair of Doc Martens at the Salvation Army and they were $50. So my next find was this cow print shoulder bag from Guess. I'm assuming it's the 90s or 2000s guess. I'm not too sure. I don't know a whole lot about guess in general, so I don't know, but I just know this is one beautiful, beautiful bag. Honestly, I almost had a heart attack to be honest when I found this in the store because I just couldn't believe it because I honestly been looking for a bag like this for a while now and I wasn't even gonna consider thrifting it because I was like, what are the chances of even finding something like this at the thrift store? And clearly, 
I just had really good luck yesterday because look what showed up. Look what showed up. So I don't remember if I showed you guys in the thrift with me portion, but I ended up finding these two belts at the end of my trip at Bayou Village. I was really, really happy because they both didn't have tags on them. And when they don't have a tag, I always take them up to the front and get them priced. And usually, like nine times out of 10, they charge them like way cheaper than they would like from the back. So they charged them for $3.99 and $4.50, which I thought was a steal of a deal because they are both leather. And most of the time when I buy belts from Value Village, they are like eight to $10. Obviously it wouldn't be a true thrift trip if I didn't get any fabric. So I ended up getting this one piece of fabric. It's super soft on the inside. So I'm excited to make some sort of top of this, maybe even like a turtleneck. Like I feel like this would be like the perfect material for a turtleneck. So I need to do something with this because lately I've been just buying fabric and not making anything with them because I've been lazy. Next top I got was this beautiful knit cardigan. I think this one was really, really cute. If it's perfect, I don't know, it's Talbots. It's probably like 2000s, 2010s. I don't know if you guys care about the year, but I like getting things that I don't know where I was going with that. Usually I like to say I like getting things that are vintage, but this is not vintage, so. I don't remember the price, so I'll insert the price here, but I think it was a good deal. I think it was a good deal, but who really knows. Next one, I ended up getting sunglasses, and to be honest, this is my first time ever getting sunglasses from a thrift store. But I saw these there, and I really liked them, and they were brand new in a case, so how could I not get them? And they're more trendy. All my glasses or sunglasses, they're like polarized because I'm very, very, very specific about my sunglasses just because I have very sensitive eyes. So that's why I don't buy them, but I just felt like buying them because I think they would just like finish off the Hailey Bieber look. And I also just like really, really like them too. But I believe these bad boys were $3.99. This one was $10 and is from the men's section. Is this a really quality jacket for $10? Because this is probably a few hundred dollar jacket that someone had tailored for them and I ended up getting it for $10. Second to last item is here. It's brand new with tags. As you can see, it is brand new with tags. It's from Zara. It is beautiful. I like it. It was a little bit on the higher end scale. It was $40, so a little bit more than I usually spend for something at the thrift store, but it is brand new with tags, so. And finally, the item everyone has been waiting for, or possibly not if you're not into streetwear, but the final item I got was an authentic, real, off-white t-shirt. Yes, I finally have something that is actually expensive. This is probably the most expensive piece of clothing I own now because I believe these are like 350 US to buy so that's like close to like 450 Canadian and I've never spent $450 on anything you know you know especially a t-shirt is the Simpsons house it looks like that on the front it looks like this on the back architecture you know Virgil Abloh's like famous quotation stuff and then this is the inside the nice beautiful Tag. I just love it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I really don't want to get rid of it because it's the most expensive thing that I have. So I don't really want to sell it. I think I'm just going to keep it and wear it and love it and probably not wear it very often just because it's so expensive. I find when you get stuff that's really expensive, you don't really wear it very often because you don't want to ruin it or maybe that's just me. I buy things and then um, I don't really wear it because it's so expensive. So that's why I like going to the thrift store because it's already used. So if you ruin it, it's not that big of a deal. But that's it for today's video. So I hope you have a great rest of your day, a great rest of your week, a great rest of your year, so on. I just hope you have a, a dandy day today. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go eat. I'm gonna go do some other things today. So I will see you in my next video, okay? Bye guys.